Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series. Let's go ahead and pick up our uh, coins. Ooh! Uh, cancel on that. Let's go ahead and talk to our sibling. Ah, you're up. Off to the village, I hear. Don't get lost. Oh yes, before I forget. Did you use bubble help yet? It lets you see certain in interactive objects on screen. Try it now by pressing F3, then press E. Or click on the bubble to get more info. Easy. Go on. Give it a go. Aha. Uh -huh. F3. The family scheduler. When married or with a family, use the schedule to give your family orders. They'll carry out tasks you set. They must also... S you may also send a family member over 18 to, f to forage. Uh, we've done that with when we had a husband in the... Like two save games ago. <laughs> Escape on that one. Another busy day. I hear you're going to the village. Be careful out there and don't go wandering too far. We children need to be in bed by 11. Adults are so lucky. How are you? Very well. Anything happening? Another day beckons with a, its finger of adventure. Okay. Goodbye. Hello, father. Good morning. Sounds like you had restless dreams. A good day's work is the best cure for that. If we're going to be ready for summer tide, We'll need the farm running at its best, so I need you to go buy a new tin bucket in town. Here, three rush should cover it. I've unlocked the west and south gates. Just watch out for old Herbert if you go west. He's not a pretty sight. Oh, and you have a letter waiting in the mailbox. That's already more mail than I've gotten all year. Anytime you have post, you'll see the mailbox red flag fluttering. Oh, and see if the fatter way will help you if you get lost. Simply select set fatter way and on the relevant task then press f1 or click in the left stick and the fatter way will lead you to your destination they're very cute fairies and not shy at all uh browse statuses to see if you're to see info on yourself and villagers that you encounter open your status info with l and click the flashing icon on the bottom uh -huh. okay uh talk you heard Uncle Bill. You are the lucky one to get to go out onto the farm. Don't forget that bucket. Goodbye. Father? Uh, off to the village then. Be friendly to folk and you are sure to go far. It might be worth buttering them up so that they'll tell you things that may be useful. Knowledge is power, they say. They also say swollen frog cures sore throats, so don't trust every expression. Maybe I should have picked a smaller frog. Anyway, good luck. How are you feeling? I feel a cough coming on. Need to up my constitution. Just gonna have a bite to eat. Well, have a good meal. I'm off to town after do all my other chores. You've gotta have so little. Here's one of my fancy apples, just for you. A letter from Twig. Hey pal, my name is Twig and I'm inviting you for a visit. I got told you would be a great friend. I live in the nook north of your town, just across the river. My hut is at the right top of the nook. You cannot miss it. To help find me, just follow the thatter way. You are bound to have one in your hair. Looking forward to seeing you soon so we can do some fishing. Your new pal twig. Let's give an apple to the pig. Got nothing to harvest here. Get back in the pen, sir. Okay, so these are all ready. I don't have a sickle though, so I may wait. Woo! God, we have so many farming spots now. Ah, uh, good old Druidus Cross. Oh, hello. Is it you and your wife, Brian? Hello, youngin. I'm just resting here while the missus prays. Then we head back north. It's a big world out there, sunshine. Wish I was young again, so I had the freedom to explore it all. You interrupted my blessings. Don't you know what that is? This is a goddess statue. I'm guessing by your confused face that your parents d haven't let you worship yet. The statues also have been known to move people around the haven. You must interact with any statues to unlock them as destinations. Uh, goddess statues can be used on day 7 and day 14 to make offerings. You may also choose to fast travel at the cost of an apple to any go other goddess stones you've discovered. Okay. View offerings or travel. 
I think we're good there. I don't have enough apples to just willy-nilly travel. Grab this map stone. Wow, so many birds. Days of the week. Ooh, primrose. Oop, oh, map stone. I almost missed it for some reason. Ah, we've mapped it. Good. Ooh, I think I see a um note over here. I did indeed. Gassy apples. Sometimes apples turn quite bad, and lots of gassiness can be had. At the village. Ooh, we better interact. Thank you. I'm missing all my tools and it's uh, quite annoying. I don't remember the utterly butterfly. I pee everywhere. Intellectual property, it's everywhere. Ooh! I'm shocked I was allowed to take these. <laughs> oh, we've got a note. Candy squirrel need a present for a birthday. Candy squirrel's a giveaway. It really isn't. They're all cursed. <laughs> there are people who hate them. Uh, cough up the dough, a guide to good baking. Ah, yes, the one about Melanie Baps. Let's interact with this. The Half Moon House. What a beautiful swan. Let's get this guy. The Spiced Apple. Map Stone 1. We've got two more to find. Primrose. Uh, and a proverb. Grey Vilac wards off evil creepers and puts strange visions in your peepers. Ah, a bit of illusion there. Ah, I got a stone. Nah. I need my fishing pole. You bunch of tools. Talking about leveling up your different things, you can use the slingshot to get apples and berries and have them leveled up. Oh, hi. What do you want? Introduce. What you want? Had enough of them rascals, so I moved myself to my own little shed. By Droda's armpit, leave this old bugger alone and give me some space. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, supplies, supplies, the unexpected prices hit you between the eyes. I don't really have enough supplies to just be gifting to everyone just yet. Ooh, this is a new sign. What is, what is this? Oh, alright. I guess we'll talk to Hazel. Wait! My cats are peering into your soul to determine if you can be trusted. And congratulations! They aren't crawling your eyes out, which means you've passed. I dreamt I was a flower. I smelled wonderful. I want my dreams to come true. Is there a sale on? I love a good bargain. I also love bad bargains. I just like bargains. <laughs> Alright. Introduced to Ignatius. What do you say? Will I drown, ma'am? My man passed away many years ago. Oh, you're from Willow Down Farm. Never heard of it. I'm particularly average today. I need to get a gift for your birthday. I forgot about next year. Not sure how that works. Introduce to Edward Teapot. Haven't seen you in Candlewitch before. You're not in an undercover kettle, are you? Good, good. That family makes my blood boil. Goodbye. Uh, it looks like Hazel has a quest, probably to find her cat. Oh, Bubble Puffs, one of my kittens has gone missing. Please try to find him. Must have wandered into the woods. He was a climber, so check the trees. I wonder if this is the same quest as before? Oh, we better interact. Let's grab Jeruide, Pig Race, the Market. Okay. Who are you breaking up with needing that ring? Or is that the to the marriage ring? Either way. Ooh! Why do you have a... Oh, he must not be ill. Well, hello. I was hoping I'd run into you. We've heard a lot about old Bill's new warts, and everyone's more than a bit curious about you. Me, I'm curious about everything. Especially the past. As the Vale's resident historian, I'm always on the lookout for relics and historical documents. So let me know if you spot any. Hello, youngster. I'm the traveling trader. I sell seeds and such, and just love spreading my seeds. I'm in the village every second and ninth day of the season, and at Druda's Cross every first and eighth. I'm sure to ca be sure to catch me for some seedy deals. Huh, his speech pattern has changed. Oh. 
point tail use. No, I'm poor. I must remember. These signs are so different. Hello. Oh, we're a pen to sinner. And if you think you haven't committed any sin, well, that's a sin right there. Pray for forgiveness from the goddesses. They're watching us. Watching us all. I'm feeling as perky as Nadia in her glory. Oh, yeah, this looks a little different. That there. What is it? Uh, that's, that's a place to sell. Very nice. Introduce. Greetings, I'm Ichabod, merchant and seller of goods. I came to the Vale from far away and cornered a hole in the market. Once I filled in the hole, I built a market stall and eventually worked my way to where I am now, which is here. My bad. I'm feeling particularly quirky today, as is my nature. I will be pretending to work. This is a role-playing game after all. <laughs> Let's just get the thin bucket. For carrying liquids of the drinking variety. Uh, good old Ash. Your visage inspires me in a spontaneous stanza. Ahem. A pond brimming with tadpoles in the summer storm. Their tails are restless. The drops spell out a rainbow on the wor water's surface. It is you, the frog to become. Good to see you. I've been very busy lately trying to identify more of our various bugs. You could say I have the collecting bug. <laughs> Maybe one day I will save Share all my fluttering secrets. I only got enough chores money for one and a half candy squirrels. Do you think there's any way I can barter the old meaty in the shop to let me have more to add to my winter hoard? Dad doesn't like me talking to people, but just wanted to say welcome to the Vale. If it is true you're also a twin? If they're as dense brain as mine, you have my commemorations. It's Betty. Hello, duck egg. I wouldn't hang around our farm if I were you. My warzel's got a thing about trespassers. He's also got a thing about passerbys, ramblers, hikers, visitors, and well-wishers. Other than that, he's a lovely bloke, honest. <laughs> I'm not made of brass. I'm made of meat, before you ask. Betty! I see you have a twin. Two good old Bettys. <laughs> ah, Teresa, are you gonna yell at me for existing? That icy feeling on the back of your skull that is the stare of Druda digging into your soul. Make bountiful offerings or prepare to writhe in the darkness of a thousand curses. I like that they use all of the goddesses' names more often. Like, I am as perky as or as happy as and then a goddess. Good old Winky. No, 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 you shall not go. No, no, indeed. Your uncle told me to watch you and watch you shall Herbert. No leaving the veil till uncle says so. I'd like to sample your cooking. Do you think you could make me something? Sure. Many gratitudes. We don't much like strangers around testy acres, so stay away. Only scrumpies are welcome, and even then, I got half a stink eye on them. Get all jumbos. Need a tree chopped, a log decapitated. My family is the only one granted the honor of maintaining our woods, and I take it very seriously. I came come from a long line of lumberjacks, and there's been quite a few lumber friends and lumber johns like me too. Hello, you're one of them wallow down twins, aren't ya? Shame you're not old enough to patronize my tavern. We don't serve miners, but we do serve miners. Anywho, my daughter Melanie runs the place now. Got much better head for business than I ever did. My Melanie's a good lass. She works hard and keeps the ledger up to date. Yet, I can't get my head around it. When I ran the pub, it was spit and sawdust and the clank of coin and just shove the earnings in a bag. People had fun and the spilt drinks would soak your boots. Now it's all orderly and managed. I have to admit, I prefer the old way. More satisfied than a pig in a pie shop. <laughs> Welcome to the Vale. I own the Flailing Arms, the village pub, and you've probably seen my dad, Toby, milling around. I can't serve you any drinks, but you're welcome to come and visit. We have the nicest drunks in all of Quill. <laughs> Got Teresa. How wonderful to meet you. It's truly Druida's generosity that has brought you to our village, and for that, we thank her. Druida, smile on you. I can tell you have a good heart. We can try to keep it pure. We try to keep pure of heart, mind, spirit, and body in the Brown Thresh household. Uh, and that all starts with a good diet. Fruits, grains, and a bowl of kindness is a long way to feeding one's soul. 
Arthur used to be a voracious meat eater, but after he met me, he showed I showed him a better, healthier, and more spiritual satiating way. He was all meat and two veg, but now he's definitely a man who do won't touch sausage. Whoa, didn't I see another one like you, only a little different? Far out. I mean, you must live on the farm far out of town. Well, you're always welcome at the brown domicile. Oh, you know what I fancy right now, friend? A lovely juicy pear. Or a nice apple. I do like a bit of fruit. Nature is banty, you know. We browns just adore being part of the whole system. Like, wow. Think about it, man. The apples grow. We eat the apples. Our bodies take all the good and spit out the bad. And then that badness helps grow more apples. Actually, when I put it like that, it does make apples seem less appealing. Last person I'll probably talk to you. Who in Farrell's furlocks are you? Not one of them teapots in disguise, are you? Well, alright then. But stay away from them. They're a broody bunch. I would love a sample of your cooking. Do you think you could cook me something? Sure. Thanks, I suppose. You asked. Alright, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna try to fill out the map here. Also grab these. Ale and hearty. Bean a baby? Ah, <laughs> that's a new one as well. And villa, nice. Smiths don't have to be depressing. Oh, pickaxe! Some tools can be leveled up with use and each level gains a little bonus. Pickaxe, shovel, slingshot, fishing rod, sickle, sword, and bow all can be leveled up. You can increase yields, damage, and so on. Plus, certain star ratings need a certain level tool to get an extra star rating. Try using your sickle on anything that grows, or slingshot to shoot down berries and apples. Every successful use uh, gains XP, so equip accordingly and get using those tools. Ooh, barely saw that. Bluefish always know their place. In Melofo fields, they show their face. Aha, we mapped the region. I know there's still one right there. We've got that one. Ah, uh, north gate. Let's grab this map stone. Ooh, it's a bit sparkly. Wandering folk. It's about um, different fae that wander the world. Or shrines. The four shrines dedicated to the four seasons. Each shrine only opens in the corresponding season. Then there's six columns for the goddesses. Each column or pillar hosts a challenge laid out by the goddess for their own unknown purpose. The champions would surely gain a reward, though not many have the skill to try. Most people are just lazy, lazy, probably. A great tip for those who spew. Chew a leaf of sweet blood for you. Got a basil. All year round and in the morn, little basil leaves are born. There's a, a goddess statue here. Okay, we got that map stone, or house stone. I can't remember what they're actually called. Not allowed out that way. The Laws of the Land and Quill, part one. I'm not really reading through these books because most of them we have certainly read through. Father, I did it. Well done. You can use that bucket for a bunch of purposes. Go try it out. The thing will store more than just plain old water. You can get a bit of milk, for example, or water, honey. Oop. I think that was like a little um, hedgehog or something. Please give me a fishing pole. Hello, hello, you got my letter. Name's Twig, but you can call me Twig. Be sure, no not sure why I got that name. Probably because I look like a stick. Had a little help writing it, of course. My, our dream pal, you know. He could do marvelous things. Wouldn't have made it to Master Fisherman without his help. You know who I'm talking about, right? Mr. Fairweather? He's got big plans for you. That's why you and me have to stick together. First off, I'm going to teach you one of my fishing tricks. Just show me you can catch a common as muck pond lurker with this old rod. Won't have no trouble finding a pond with a few swimming about. Try straight down that way. Good luck. 
I got fish. Uh, open your progress and skill info by hitting K. There we go. See if we can do it. Ooh, we've got a little bobble now. Okay. To catch a fish, uh, first press F to ripple and attract nearby fish. Be careful, rippling too much will scare them away. When you see in here a fish bite, hold space bar or uh, left mouse button to reel it in. Nice. We got a weed skimmer, which is not what we were actually looking for. A little bit different for sure. There we go. Pond lurker. Takes a bit more time to fish nowadays. Feeling sleepy. Okay, just give me a minute. Uh, ah yes. Gift. Pond lurker. And... The trick to being a great fisherman or woman is to think like a fish. I call it the method fishing because it was Billy Method who first gave me the idea. He couldn't get out he couldn't get out of his room, see, and kept banging into the walls with a kind of glass look glassy look in his eyes. So now I like to go into fish character the same way. Just make my mind a blank slate, which is easier than you'd think, and bump around until I find myself sitting on a rock with a rod in my hands. Works like a charm. So with this, you aren't limited to catching fish with your line. Cool. Oh, we need to go ahead and get home and head to bed. We got one brass. Ooh, it's a foggy day. Love it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's really cool getting to see what all has changed uh, in the game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.